of downtown Los Angeles is seen from the sky above. Wow, that, now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for the Lakers, Russell Westbrook out there with Anthony. And it's center the most dominant physical presence in the NBA, the elite defensive big man Dwight Howard. And it's LeBron James, and it's Davis at the fourth. And for the Clippers, Reggie Jackson out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George, and it's Batum in at the four slot. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. Probably the biggest knock on Anthony Davis you could make his rookie season is that he missed a lot of time with injuries. And that's really not something you knock a guy for. Ankle, a concussion. He missed several stretches. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with head coach of the Clippers for just a moment. A lot of his strategy is focused on Dwight Howard, and rightly so. He said, we know Dwight can do it all, and it is going to take a five-man effort to slow him down. He can finish, block shots, rebound. The guy is almost seven feet of pure muscle, and there is just no way to handle him one-on-one. -on -one. If there is a way, the NBA hasn't discovered it yet. Thanks again, Doris. And for Anthony Davis, a slender build. Uh, how he weathers the physicality of the NBA in some people's minds, Steve, is a question. Well, it's always hard to predict when a player comes out of college after his freshman year just how much more he's going to fill out. But he's got broad shoulders. He looks like he's got the ability to add muscle. And I think as he does that, he's going to be probably best suited to play the power forward position long term rather than center. LeBron kicks to Anthony. Back to LeBron. The three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Well, let's start with the positive and the Lakers postseason. They did make it. That's all that can be said is the dramatic passing of Utah and the Rockets down the stretch to take the seventh seed was really the lone highlight of what would be a quick exit from the playoffs. Jackson. Covered by LeBron. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Back to Jackson. The finger will finish off the ball. Going back to the Lakers, swept in four straight by the Spurs, and none of the games really that close. Spurs, Steve, just dominated them in every sense of the word. Injuries didn't help either. No, they didn't help, but you know, the Spurs just outplayed whoever was on the floor for L.A. And I think a lot of people thought that the 